Hey everybody, today is Free Ride Friday. Every Friday we give away a free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. That's over 180 video lessons, workbooks, interviews with experts, ask questions anytime, a whole bunch more. And all you gotta do to win a free ride is to leave an iTunes rating and review. Everybody who leaves us an iTunes rating and review enters our weekly draw. So hang on to the end of the episode to see who won this week's free ride. Let's jump into today's episode. Hey, welcome to the $100 MBA show, the podcast that guarantees it won't waste your time with our daily 10 minute business lessons for the real world. I'm your host, your coach, your teacher, Omar Zenholm. I'm also the co-founder of The $100 MBA, a complete business training and community online. And today, you will learn how to keep your nerves in check. Whether you're speaking in public, negotiating with a client, doing something for the first time in your business, sometimes it can get nerve-wracking. You might get nervous. How do you push through? How do you handle your nerves so that nervous energy doesn't affect your performance? I know that some people out there had a situation in their life, in their business, where they said, man, if I wasn't so nervous, I would have done so much better. Today, we're going to give you the exact tactics to how to keep your nerves in check so you're at top performance. So let's get down to business. Today's episode of The $100 MBA Show is sponsored by Rerun. Tired of spending hours chasing down clients for new credit card details? Automate your subscription or membership billing with Rerun. Rerun automates payments, email, and best of all, expiring and declined credit cards. Learn more or sign up for a free trial at rerunapp.com slash podcast. That's rerunapp.com slash podcast. In order to stop your nerves from acting up, from stop being nervous, you have to understand what causes you to be nervous. There's nothing worse than being so nervous that your performance in a business transaction or a public speech hinders you from doing your best work. And I'm speaking out of experience. Back in the day when I was an educator, when I started my career in education, I moved up in the ranks very quickly. I became a manager very young. I was leading a team of teachers, 33 teachers, all probably double my age at the age of 25. And I was very nervous when I had to address this group, especially when it's at a conference or a presentation, even just a weekly meeting that I had with my team. I was so nervous. It was causing my knees to knock. It was very physically apparent I was nervous and it was really stopping me from being myself and being at my best. And I had to get over it. So I had to figure out why am I nervous? And nervousness really comes from a lack of confidence, obviously, and a lack of experience. If you do something for the first time, you're going to be a little bit nervous, regardless of how high or low the stakes are. Think about the first time you flew on a plane. You're a little bit nervous, even though you're not even flying the plane. You're just a passenger on the, on the actual flight. So a lack of experience will do that. So there is going to be a level of nervousness every time you do something for the first time. But if it's not the first time and you're still getting nervous to the point that it's hindering you, you really need to get that in check. So I'm going to show you how you can do it. So first of all, being nervous is an emotional state. This is something emotional. It's not a logical thing. It's not a a mindset. The reason why you're getting nervous about a situation, whether it's talking to somebody or dealing with a difficult situation, it's because your emotions are telling you that this is hard. And the only way to kind of combat an emotion is through logic, is to convince yourself that this is not helping. And in fact, that's how I got over my nerves, is that I got so angry at myself for being nervous and the fact that the nervousness was hindering me from doing well at my job or at my career, I got to the point where I realized that the nervousness is hindering me so much that enough of it, I'm not going to be nervous anymore. It's not getting me anywhere. I'm going to stop being nervous. And it's actually a logical choice. But the thing is, you can't just tell yourself, don't be nervous. It doesn't work that way. You can't just get up on stage and say, all right, I'm not going to be nervous. Being nervous is is a bad idea. It makes me look bad. I'm going to go up there and, and nail it. And you just nail it. No. What happens is that the nerves will creep up because you're in the habit of being nervous. 
It comes natural. Your emotions are just on autopilot. So what you need to do is keep reminding yourself that when you're nervous, it's not a good thing. It doesn't help you. Take a deep breath and try to recenter yourself and ground yourself and remind yourself how it was just a few minutes ago before you got on stage when you told yourself being nervous is not a good idea and I shouldn't be nervous. So it's an awareness. It's accepting the fact that, yes, I will be nervous, but I have to keep it in check. I got to constantly keep it in check. I got to keep the reins in. This could be challenging, and it's challenging because you have to do all that while performing, while doing whatever you have to do, be it a negotiation or be on a webinar or whatever it is, but it gets better over time. Another great, great tactic to do to get over your nerves is something that they do in acting. I learned this from Michael Port and Amy Mead, who are our public speaking coaches, and they have this thing in the drama world that's called act as if. Act as if you were completely confident. Act as if you were never nervous. Act as if you have complete control over everything you say and do. And acting as if really puts you in that mindset and that state of mind where you are confident. So you're acting as if until you are that. So say, for example, you're doing a webinar for the first time. You're really nervous. You don't want to screw it up. You want to say the right things. It's live. And you want to make sure that everybody feels like it's a great experience. At that point, you really should set out and say, I'm going to act as if this is the hundredth time I've done it, that I'm a veteran at this, that I've spoken to these people countless times before, and in fact, they're my close friends, and I connect with them instantaneously. How would I act if that was the case? I'm going to act like that. And that's a great way to get prepared before you get in front of the camera or get in front of whatever you're doing that would cause you to be nervous. Acting as if is really, really powerful. And that's how actors actually pull off these great performances. They act as if they're that person. They act as if they were a mobster or act as if they were a great scientist. And the best actors, they're not really acting. They actually just take on those traits of the person they're acting as. Guys, I got more about keeping your nerves in check. But before that, I got to give love to today's sponsor, Spark Business from Capital One. Today's episode is powered by Spark Business from Capital One, providing unique small business solutions for entrepreneurs who expect better from themselves and their bank. Whether you're looking for growth strategies, financial management tips, or leadership lessons, turn to sparkbusinessiq.com. The Spark Business IQ team keeps an ear to the ground and stays current on the latest business trends and strategies to help you improve your business outcomes. They talk to business owners like you to learn from and share stories of their successes and challenges. Spark Business IQ is designed to deliver insights, tips, and inspiration to business owners at all stages of growth. Visit sparkbusinessiq.com to learn how Spark Business by Capital One can help you ignite positive change for your business. The last thing I want to mention when it comes to keeping your nerves in check, getting better at getting over your nervousness is that this is a process. Nothing happens overnight. Your goal is to get better each time. You need to see some progress every time you're in that situation that gets you nervous. If you do see progress, then that's amazing. You need to make sure that you keep progressing and allow to have the opportunities to get better. So if you have a situation where you do get nervous, try to seek out opportunities where you can keep doing those things. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but keep doing that thing so you have more chances to get over those nerves. And remember, when you step out of those things for a long period of time, you kind of lose the momentum. So say, for example, you did four webinars this month, and then you don't do one for four months, and then you do another one after that. That first webinar back is going to be a little bit different. It's not like you're just on a roll. You're not back to square one, but you will regress a little. So make sure that you stay consistent. All right, guys, that wraps up today's lesson. It's time to announce this week's Free Ride Friday winner. Let's see who won this week's free ride to the $100 MBA training and community. And the winner is Genuine Chris. Genuine Chris says something really useful. Five stars. Most business podcasts aren't useful. Sure, they inspire and sure, they make you think about business. But this one is actually a toolkit to deploy right away and earn yourself some cheddar. That's why it gets an easy five stars because it's what every podcast should be. Instead of two people interviewing each other, telling war stories and try to sell their books, you get a real entrepreneur that has success and failures being honest about all that. That's what it's all about. 
Thank you, Genuine Chris, for that very original review. And welcome to the $100 MBA training and community. Your mission is to email us at contact at 100mba.net so we can hook you up with the free ride. Guys, remember that every week we randomly choose a new winner. If you want to be in the draw to win a free ride to the $100 MBA training and community, a lifetime membership, all you got to do is drop us a rating and review on iTunes and you enter the weekly draw. Next week, it could be you. All right, guys, I want to leave you with this. It's the weekend, guys. You might be planning to go out with family and friends. You might meet somebody that you've never met before, you've never spoken to one-on-one before. I suggest maybe just talking to them about what you do. Share with them what you're working on, your business, your offer, your value, and see what they think. See what a pretty much complete stranger thinks of your business. This could be great feedback because sometimes we don't get the perspective of somebody